be or not to be? That is the question. Hello. My name is Nell. I am a robot at Bristol Robotics Laboratory. Robotics is one of the fastest growing industries and there's more to it than you think. I am Robo Thespian. Thing about my job here is that I basically get to live science fiction. Just any ideas that I come up with, uh, I can try and test them out in real robot systems. We made this um, very, very sparkly hand for um, an actress. She's a girl that doesn't want to wear prosthetic. She's very comfortable in her own skin. She doesn't feel like she needs a prosthetic to go on with her life and do anything. So it was quite a challenge to do something that she would be very excited to wear. And in the end, she was uh, very pleased with it, and she thinks about it as a really nice accessory. So if I want to have really fancy shoes on one event that I want to attend, she would like to have a really fancy hand. And so I think that's what we've accomplished with this one. You ready? My PhD project is all to do with attempting to get an underwater robot to follow and identify manta rays. There will be um, a lot of devices and sensors that I need some way of interacting with, and the microbit could definitely provide that. If I had one of these if I was, when I was 12, um, I would have been a very happy kid because it would have meant I would have got, had a very visual way of coding. When I was 12, I really wanted to know how everything worked. Yeah. And I found that um, robotics really offered that. You were able to build a chassis, look into the electronics, code it, and you could really see the results kind of instantaneously. If, imagine if I was 12 and I had this robot doing stuff, all my friends would be properly jealous. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the microbit is a really, really cool concept. Uh, when I was 12 years old, we were not given things like that in school. What robotics needs is people that are enthusiastic about what they're doing, but also are able to persevere if, if things don't work out because you're often working on a problem that's not well understood and you're the first one who's trying to work out how to do things. Dieter is programming robots to keep other robots or people out of danger. I'm very well, thank you. Robotics is great because it brings lots of different disciplines together uh, and really allows a lot of creativity. What are you going to do with your microbit? Some of the ideas we've got are swarms, robot races, compass, light show, or just connect up to the drone. Robotics is big, and you could shape its future. I feel so proud of the BBC for doing this. It's really ambitious, and it could make a real difference to the lives of many thousands of young people. And the part that Teen Tech will play will be to put the whole project into context, so helping young people see where an interest in tech could take them. That was amazing.